Hi friends, this is Harjot and you're watching For the Love of Gadgets. This is the second video for the Honor Band 4 series. In this video, we will look into the band and the app interface. Thank you so much for the response. Thank you so much for your comments and likes. We deeply appreciate that. And we ensure that we'll come up with such videos on and on and on. At the end, I would just say that keep liking the videos, subscribe, comment and share the channel. This is Harjot. Thanks. Let's start the video. Alright folks, so let's try to cover all the options within the band and the app in 10 minutes. But trust me, it might take long, so hold on to it. Though I'll try to make sure that we don't get bored, but then I know it might get a little monotonous. On the right, you have the band icon. If you click on it, you can see if your band is connected or not. The battery percentage. Steps, calories, distance, health, and trust me, it's actually for the first time helpful. Just kidding. If you go to the help guys, you can see getting started, basic operations, fitness, message reminders, FAQs. Right. Now, I would suggest uh, just roam around this because it's difficult to let you know what is covered under which section. But I'll just click on basic operation and you can see it says adjusting screen brightness. Whoa. And you can see it says access the more screen and go to brightness to adjust the screen brightness. And you can see it has given a pictorial illustration. Wow. Yep. Okay. I'll move out of it. And yes, just roam around this. Now you can see Huawei True Sleep. It says monitor your sleep quality analyze six type of sleeping problems and receive more than 200 personalized sleep quality assessments wow that's cool but then i would really need to test it but yes to turn it on simply click on this and you get this message notification it will reduce the standby time that's understandable i'll click on it yep all right then you have activity reminder are you a lazy bum are you a lazy bum okay just kidding i mean if you are then you can turn it on every 60 minutes and over it will give you a buzz get on walk away right so that's the sedentary reminder continuous heart rate monitoring this is a very good option for those who are suffering from anxiety stress because here you can set it up that if your heartbeat goes for more than a certain limit that you set for 10 minutes it will buzz you'll get to know that okay for the last 10 minutes your heartbeat has exceeded the set limit then you can probably take a breathe get some water or whatever you do which you're comfortable in lowering your beats okay i'll click on this and it says let's say 100 yeah and okay so i've said it that if my heartbeat goes 101 for more than 10 minutes and above please let me know it's very good if it works as i've mentioned again we'll test it alarm right so you can just simply put in the alarm you can click on i'll just turn this on all right so i've set up the alarm and if you click on the alarm again that's where you can delete it you can set up repeat monday tuesday whatever day you want to and you can click on ok and on the top you have to press this tick icon and then you can go back dnd which is do not disturb you can set it up for the whole day or while when you're not you know wearing it or you can simply schedule it as to from 11 pm to 7 am in the morning yep i'll move up move out of it again notifications in order to receive notifications onto your band or the wearable as they suggest you have to turn this on so make sure this is turned on and then you can choose whichever you want to get a notification on and let me see is there a limit to it uh, so far i haven't gone any from so i mean it would be amazing to see if it can handle all this yep usually in other bands it's up to five all right moving out of notifications weather report Wow, it's getting chilly in Delhi. Yep. So weather in Delhi has been cold and it's very dry. Yep. But how can I check what is the Fahrenheit to Celsius? But then they have solved this. You have to click on simply Celsius and go back. 
let's see there you go it's a cute little c did you see okay it's kidding again all right now bluetooth disconnection reminder you get a buzz if your wearable is not connected with the app function customization this is basically to add or set the order for all this so let's say right now if you would see workout right if i x out of it it's moved and i click on it here i won't gonna get it this one yeah now see the workout will not gonna show up yep sorry yeah so that's where you can add or set up the format but again if you need to add workout click on add at the bottom put a check mark here click here and then again click here now let's see do we have workout yes and people do workout every day yep i put the band down and now here you have raise wrist to wake screen now if i do this nothing would happen if i do it for the first fourth time probably i'll bang it into the camera but i'll not do it now but now let's see the magic bim bim sala bim wow right yep and rotate to switch screen now again yep so you can see and it's very gentle no i'm not kind of being very pushy here yeah auto download update packages again to download the update and firmware update you can simply click on it to see what firmware it is you can check for updates here checking no updates great unpair and restore factory settings probably gonna lose out the data i haven't tried it yet but let me know if you want to see it i'll go back again to the main page everyone let's see what we have here okay over here you get to see the distance and the calories and also we are nearing the alarm so i'll just keep it like this so that in case it buzzes we'll get to know because the alarm is at 14:30 yep if you click on distance you'll get to know how much distance you've walked you can check it daily weekly monthly yearly yep i'll go back similarly for calories you can see day week month and year and there goes alarm and let's see what it says it says ut ja kanjara okay what the hell man who did that sorry for that guys in order to turn off the alarm you just press this button and alarm is stopped so that's how you'll stop if you'll just simply tap it it will snooze for 10 minutes right we have the exercise record there's no data i have exercised but you can simply add as to what you want to do end or run you want to walk i mean all sort of things date start time distance and you can set that up yep sleep it's basically show you the sleep data how much you have slept weight now this is an interesting place because weight you have to put in a manual input first of all how much you weigh and it's coming in labs and i'll show you it how to change it in kgs as well you can put in date time but you have to make manual entry you can add the body fat as well and then you can click on done you can measure it if you have a device that can help you measuring it history will give you you know as to what has been your weight versus the entries that you'll make and you can delete those entries if you go to more that's where you get goals and trust me this is not about football it's about how much you want to walk every day yep there you see and click on save again moving out of this window we can see then you have sort cards again it's just to change the order yep sorry for that yep and just go back and you can see my trade is here now now you have exercise what do you want to do remember we chose outdoor run there so that's how you can start it I'll click on me yep in me you can see it says goals profile message on a band data sharing settings now interestingly you can share this data these two apps my fitness pal and google fit yep there you go after linking but then you have to have these apps on the phone which we'll try later yep settings you can see notification management heart rate limit and zones if you go here again it says 192 heart rate limit no nope. so basically uh, warn me when my heart rate exceeds the limit so here you can put in a limit as to what you want to put in right 
Uh, so for example, you can put in as low as, let me show you. Yep, 100, yeah. So minimum they've kept 100 that, you know, uh, that is, I think they might be considering it fine uh, for other keeping in different circumstances. But yeah, that's where you can put in, but you can simply mention if it's more than, you know, the, the limit, like for example, if it goes like 170 or so, it can kind of pass. I'll go back. Now, remember, we saw the weights coming in labs. You have to go to units, apologies. And if you go to units, you can choose it from imperial to metrics. And if you go to metrics, you'll now get it in kgs. Yep. Priority settings, clear cache, open like source licenses. So we're not going to discuss this in detail as you probably won't going to make much of a difference as of now. So we basically have covered all the options, right? And I'll go to home again. And I think uh, this kind of covers the app only. So friends, in today's video, we did see in detail the app interface. Hope that helps you exploring all the options and answer all the queries. But still, if there's any question, please do leave us a comment and we'll try to come up with the answer. Once again, this is Rajo saying goodbye, thanks, Take care and do like, subscribe, share the channel.